From bureaus worldwide, this is CNA 938 World Report. I'm Benji Hire in London. Next this morning, we go to India, where women have taken centre stage at the ongoing farmer protest taking place around New Delhi. To mark International Women's Day, thousands of women join the demonstrations, which have lasted more than 100 days, as farmers demand the rollback of three new agricultural laws. They also sought to highlight the critical role played by women in the sector. Our Mumbai correspondent Rebecca Bundan has been following the story. Women led the demonstrations at the borders of the Indian capital on Monday. As the protests by farmers continue more than three months on, it was another opportunity to draw attention to their cause. Sunaina Chautala from the Indian National Lokdal political party addressed a large crowd of female farmers clad in brightly coloured headscarves. Today, women are so troubled that they have to come out on the streets and demand their rights and the rights of their farmer brothers. The protesters say three new farm laws will benefit big business at their expense and should be scrapped. Women have been part of the male-dominated demonstrations from the start, but police said that thousands more females joined them for International Women's Day. Despite several rounds of talks between farm union leaders and the government, neither side is backing down on the highly political issue, and many of the demonstrators remain camped around Delhi. The government has offered to make amendments and put the laws on hold for up to a year and a half, but protesters say that isn't enough. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi says that the reforms will boost profitability in the sector, facilitating much-needed investment and technology. Many farmers in the country struggle to make money because of inefficiencies in the system, and the country has a high rate of farmer suicides linked to the burden of their debts. But critics argue the reforms will spell the end of the safety net of government-backed minimum support prices and state-run wholesale markets. They fear that corporates will take over and offer them lower rates. Although the protesters are mainly men, women have as much at stake, and their role in agriculture is often overlooked. Here's Iti Rawat, the founder of Women Entrepreneurs for Transformation. Sadly, due to patriarchal norms in Indian policies, they are not even considered as farmers directly discriminating them to get any institutional support from any bank, insurance, or even government departments. The dream of making women financially independent will not be accomplished without empowering Indian women farmers. Ahead of International Women's Day, Time magazine featured female demonstrators at the farmers' protests on its international editions cover. Its article looked at their role on the front lines and how they are trying to make their voices heard despite being told by some authorities that women should go home. Agriculture makes up about 15% of India's GDP, but it supports the livelihoods of half the population. V. Padmanand is a partner at Grant Thornton Bharat. Women are an integral part of Indian agriculture and work shoulder to shoulder with, if not more than even their uh, men in their families. This, is, uh, this has reference to both uh, core farming as well as ancillary activities. According to Oxfam, women do 80% of the farm work in the country, including sowing and harvesting, but they only own 13% of the land, and this is a significant factor in why women have become an invisible workforce in the sector. Ms. Rawat. My two cents on this would be to start at least from the acknowledgement and then create those special schemes for them to own the land rights and then further cultivating it so that they can grow in it and they can employ more women. It may not be the main aim of the protests, but through their presence, women are raising awareness of their role in farming in India. Rebecca Bundan, Mumbai. And our tech guru, Will Gayat, tells us about a new way of buying and selling digital content that's seen the first ever tweet sell for two and a half million dollars. Find out all about it as CNA 938 World Report continues after the headlines and traffic.